Hello, and welcome to Ponery's Penny Arcade and the next 30, episode 4 of Call of Serengar, the demo. This is where I left you last. <clears throat> this is the temple here. Tear Tanon. And I think we traveled all the way down to about here. We found another temple of sorts that was sort of destroyed and desecrated. So, <clears throat> we know his name, but we don't know what he's about or what he's for yet. So let's keep heading south and try to figure it out, shall we? What we're about to encounter <clears throat> is uncharted territory for me. I am now officially where I was uh, from my last playthrough. Before I had recorded anything. There we go. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. The bodies don't change. I don't think they decay either. Let me go take a look. Yeah. They're just still dead. So we're running just because I've already been through all this. Oh, it's raining again. You guys haven't seen fog set in yet, but it's very cool. <clears throat> I mean, even the rain sort of gives you a haze, which is kind of neat. That was the cave. That was the farm. This was the ambush. We failed at the ambush, but I tried. That's the <clears throat> that's the ruined shrine or temple. So now we enter uncharted territory for both me and you, the viewer. So I'm not going to run because I suspect. <clears throat> Since this game so closely resembles Betrayal at Krondor, like you can tell that's where the creator's inspiration came from. There may be traps, and we just haven't seen them in the game yet. So we're going to try to find them. Carefully, cautiously. I'm checking everywhere for, like, points of interest or, you know, more of those locked chests before we continue on further. Because exploration is part of the game. <clears throat> I suspect they give you these routes to take for a reason. Okay, that's as far as we can go here. But I mean, it also fleshes out the game. I think one of the amazing things is, is for as much content that I've found so far, it's not a very big game. Like, 500 and something megabytes for the demo. This road leads south towards Avonmore. But I think this is as far as Dina will allow me to go in the demo. I know what you mean. She can be mean like that. Oh, Dina. Well, damn. I guess we found the end. Maybe not. Let's go check the north real quick before I write this off. You know, just in case. I mean, they did give us that too. It's just everything led us south in the beginning. <clears throat> Maybe we can go chew out Dina afterwards too. You know, I also suspect that <clears throat> looking at the spaces for characters, 
we're probably going to be able to add party members later. <clears throat> because we picked up a crossbow, but neither one of our guys can use it. So <clears throat> I suspect that this game will allow other companions. Because there's certain hardware that you're not allowed to use. Which means you're going to have to find somebody that can and add them to your party, clearly. We still weren't allowed to solve the mystery of the farmer's wife. Oh, and I never got a chance to really delve into that. We'll do that too. house. Let's wash up. Yeah, let's go talk to Dina first. Hi, baby. Nothing new. If you try to click the loot again, it's just like Crondor. It's like, you can do it, but it'll be for your own amusement. <clears throat> There's no fun in that. Did I knock on this door before? Yeah. Oh, no. The lady introduced herself as Merith. For the better part of an hour, they talked, exchanged news and gossip. He would learn that she used to be a cook in the manorial kitchen. And now, in the years she worked there, she got to know his mother very well. Teary-eyed, she also shared that her husband, George, died just a couple of months prior, and their visit was very welcome. She had no one to really talk to anymore. At last, when they were done talking, she asked them if they could wait a moment. She disappeared into the kitchen. In a few minutes, Merith emerged from the back carrying two small packs, one for each of the boys, and she pressed a pouch of herbs into Hewan's hand, just a bit of honey bread and nuts for the road. Oh, you needn't have, Hewan said, but Merith dismissed him with a wave. You too be careful traveling the roads. All manner of low folk, folk prey on travelers these days. May tear to end watch over you. They promise to be careful, thank Merith for the gift, and bade her goodbye. I forgot that house. And once again, she had loaded us up with rations. There. Now we have 28 and 27. We're pretty rationed out. <clears throat> I guess we should go check out the shop, too. This is a shop of some kind. Care to enter? Yes. What's up, bro? There's nothing else I can click in here as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, said the shopkeeper. My name is Fanon Goway. At your service. What would you like to purchase today? So this is what he has, and this is what I'm carrying. Can I sell stuff? What if I sold you this? Can I sell this? Ah, for this short sword, I can offer you two ocean and six lesion. Can you give me a little more? Nope. Try again? Nope. Nope. I don't know if you can actually... <laughs> Sam failed catastrophically. Now he doesn't want to buy it. All right, how about this one? Three ocean and two lesion. Sam was able to ex obtain a 28% discount for the item. Four ocean, okay. One and one. Nope. Nope. Failed catastrophically. Okay. So we close that. See if we can do it again. No. Okay, so we have to actually leave the shop. I wonder if his skills go up. Okay, he's at 28. He's at 30. Let me try this. Let me put this in your possession.
Oh, now he doesn't want to buy it at all. <laughs> what a prick. <laughs> all right. Well, how about the crossbow? Three lesson. Four lesson. Oh, wait, no, you can have it. There. And he can't repair anything, so I guess we're sort of done. Oh. Uh-oh. That was weird. So my game kind of locked up just for a second there. Okay, there we go. Now we got our stuff back. All right. <clears throat> so we bought, we've sold, we've haggled. Actually, we didn't buy anything because he didn't have anything I wanted. Let's go back here and talk to Arthur. You're back. Missing woman. We talked to a man about, or a man named Namau at the temple. What happened? Ah, yes, Anya. Everybody loved that woman. Her husband, Namau, is a really nice fellow, even if he doesn't get along with everyone. It's been weeks now since her disappearance, but on the first day, everyone joined in the search. I even brought two of my hounds to smell her, t her trail. We found a bucket there by the brook, but that's where the trail stopped. So it's unlikely she ran away. Kidnapped, perhaps? It's possible. Maybe the kidnappers masked their scent down the river. But we searched both banks for miles up and down several times. Her smell was gone. That's hard to believe. I know, but it's the truth. Now, if there's nothing else, I'd like to return to my duties. That's all you get out of them, I think. Yeah. Let me check the other doors just one more time. Nothing there. Nothing really there. Although there is smoke coming out of the chimney. Anyway, let's go look up north real quick. See if they give us any options. Doesn't look appear to be the case. <clears throat> so I think technically we have explored everything that the game will allow us to currently. We checked every shack, we checked every house, we've done every dialogue. I'm pretty sure I can't talk to the witch anymore. Let's stay clear of the witch. Right. How about this guy? Doesn't want to be disturbed. Okay. Nothing there. How about the redhead? I'd rather avoid that house if possible, said Hewan, blushing furiously. Dude, it's a... Why would you... Why would you not want to go back? Good time was had by all. Well. I guess that's going to do it then. Let's just go in here. So, unfortunately, this has turned into the last 30, which is actually only 13, of Call of Sarangar, the demo. I have fleshed out the entire demo and showed you everything possible so far. However... Try it out. The download is free. The link is in the description below. And uh, maybe put it on your wish list because, like I said, whoever designed this game loved Betrayal at Krondor because they emulated it beautifully. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. But if you're a regular here, welcome back. Either way, maybe check out my other playlist and see if my other interests might be of interest to you. I guess that's all I got for you for this series for now. Keep an eye out for when it goes full and live and purchasable, and I will definitely revisit this in its own full series. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.